Hello, Work Rate fans, and welcome to Work Rate Presents Frights and Fights here at Scott Run, Pennsylvania at Forever Fitness. I'm Adam Creighton, staying alongside... Ho, 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 ho. You do not need to introduce me. They know who I am, but I will reintroduce myself. I am the broadcast journalist extraordinaire. I am Mr. Exclusive Elliot Beers, here once again at Scott Run, Pennsylvania, for Work Rate Entertainment, Frights and Fights. It's going to be a spooky night of action here. Um, I'm looking at this crowd. I, spooky just about sums it up. Well, this show is definitely a newcomer here to Work Great Entertainment. Um, Tunku Amir uh, from Singapore. And like he said, he has perfected what he calls a sing of fist. It is a ruthless style of fighting. It is pretty much straight knockouts, submissions. I mean, just utter brutality. I had a chance to talk. I tried, well, I tried to talk with the man earlier uh, in the evening, and he uh, is not much for words. I will say. I mean, just kind of a, just a blank stare, but like a mean stare to me, and just like kind of like kind of like go away. I saw him walking around backstage, and I honestly made it a note to just avoid him at all costs because it's not my business to get physical with any of the superstars here at work rate. And, uh, well, I don't think he's going to get physical with you, but this is why I'm a broadcast journalist. Exactly. Um, I take risks. I have to get the information from these from these combatants, from these participants. I'm glad you do it because uh, it's, it's not about I'm the that. Best. This is why I'm the best. Self-proclaimed. Self-proclaimed is a fact. From who? Everybody. That's why they hired me. Under the less big man coming, Ed House, here once again in a work rate ring. Come up short. Unfortunate. Talk about coming up short. I mean, I mean, I, mean so I, only, I didn't even think that would be possible for what a man is, this size. What is... That's a, that's, a, that's a nice Andrew Dice Clay freaking uh, vest he's got on there. Uh, I don't think that's going to be legal to wear in the ring. Oh, it's only, I mean, it's only just, look at how he just rushes past Amir. Uh, even I mean, Ed, Ed, How, Ed House lives up, to his, lives up to his name for sure. I mean, you can bet you can bet your bottom dollar, Adam. We are not going to see high flying. No, this you know, is going to be you know lucha libre style. This is going to be a straight straight fists. You got you got straight it. Straight fists. And basically, uh, Tunku kind of telling the fans here, Scott Run, what he thinks of him with a little hand gesture there. Yeah. I, I like this guy. But I mean, Ed House, he, he like I said, he's been here before. This is his third time in a work rate ring. He's come up short. And in dastardly ways, I should I, I have to put it. He, he it hasn't been a, a, a 100% fair loss in the record books here oh, for Ed House. It doesn't matter if it's fair or not. A loss is a loss. Any way you slice it and dice it at him, I mean, pretty much. I mean, it, it, it taints it a little for the guy that wins. And then, I mean, it kind of. I don't know how to put it, I mean, but Ed House, no, no matter what, Ed House is going to look to to prove himself here and pick up a victory. Oh, I, Samir shoots him right, oh, right mean, into the gut and then right into the chin. I mean, that's straight. I mean, like I said, the, that straight forearm though uh, from from Tunku is is part of that sing of fist style. Oh. But Ed House going right back yeah, with another center. forearm of his own. Look at all oh, tries to go going for a power for slam. Oh, trips the leg up, it's, taking the big man down, and oh, I'm, double stomp to the back. That's, that's one gonna, way to cut the big man down. That is definitely. That's going to readjust. That's going to readjust the spinal column there of Ed House. Quick into Ed, the cover. Oh, not even a one count. Well, Ed House basically showing what kind of a powerhouse he is, pun intended. Oh. But Tunku Amir again. Oh, and there's the aggression. I mean, ruthless aggression, no doubt. Uh, from Tunku Amir, a newcomer here. He's definitely going to want to make a name for himself here in the, in the opening matchup here tonight at, at Frights and Fights. Oh. So the whole ring move on that one as Ed House gets cut down with a big lariat. He's, ch he's chopping. He's chopping the big man down there like a redwood. And Ed House kind of like kind of dazed and confused, not sure exactly what hit him. 
Well, it would have been a turnbuckle, but nevertheless, look at Amir just back up the big man like it's nothing. And now he's going to shoot him right into the corner again. Again, just watching the ring move. The force that Amir is throwing Ed House at. And that only gets a two. Well, let it be known that uh, Tunku oh, Amir... Oh, quick cover again, right? Only, only gets the one. Well, Tunku Amir uh, moved here uh, from Singapore to pursue a wrestling career. So, I mean, he came here with a purpose. I mean, he wasn't just here for, for kicks and giggles. Uh, he knew oh. what he wanted. Oh, oh, Ed House firing back with a lariat of his own. And another one coming out like a freight train. Good Lord. You know, I could probably make some money off of Ed House and just, you know, take him to a convenience store and let the kids ride him for a quarter every couple oh. minutes. That's not, I'm pretty sure that's not legal. Not really. Raining the punches down, wow. but look at Amir. Able to, oh my look at goodness. The power. The of power. Tunku Amir. That is not oh. easy. What a power bomb in the middle of the ring by Tunku. I mean, that took a little bit out of Tunku for sure, but I am so pro. Oh, how did Ed House kick out of that? Probably drank his uh, energy drink for sure before the uh, before the match, but I'm so proud of these fans here in Scott Run knowing how to count to five for sure. Oh, would you stop? I mean, I mean, Come what do they got to do to graduate from high school up here? You know, steal a car? Uh, why? I'm pretty sure that they wouldn't be able to graduate if they stole a car. Nevertheless, locking in this. That's a nice I, camel clutch. I was going to say, it looks like a camel clutch. Of oh, that's cinched in. That's a, that is without a, a, a Singapore, cl Singapore clutch, more or less. And now, oh, that was going for the nose. Oh, that is the genius the there eyes. by Tunku. How is that genius? That's illegal. No, it's not. He's got. He's hooking the nose. I mean, that's... Oh, look at the power. Look at Ed House uh, trying I mean, to wiggle he's, out. He's, he's trying. He's back on his feet. Amir forced to change it to a sleeper. Ed House able to power out with a jawbreaker. And that one rocked. That was a very, Amir. very smart counter move there by Ed House. I mean, got to know his ring awareness there. And oh, another and another one. That basically, uh, that, that knocked Tunku off his feet again, which... Oh, oh, big clothesline. Going right back to the well, there's another one. Gets him against the ropes, throws him off. Picks him up for a big sidewalk slam. Doesn't go for the cover, though, but he's fired up. He's fired up, but you got to go for the cover, especially on a newcomer like, like Tunku, who's going to... He's going to basically want to pull off a major upset here over Bring Ed House. The crowd back in. Two and big power slam. Hook of the leg. Two. No. Wow. Only a two. And look at the shocked look of that Ed kick House. Out. I cannot believe that kick out. Ed House. Absolutely an utter shock and disbelief that if, he kicked out of a, a massive power slam. If there is ever a power slam, that is the, the biggest power slam I've ever seen. That just shows the tenacity of Tunku Amir. Wanting to oh. make sure that... You know, his name gets known all over the globe, not just here in Work Rate Entertainment. A couple of forearm shots to the jaw. Spear! Oh, spear from out of nowhere! Wow! What a beautiful not spear. That's the win out of Ed That's House. That's got to be it. But it's not enough. How is that not enough? That was a slow count there by the ref. That was slow. Come that, on! That was a slow count that by the ref. a perfectly that fine slow. count that was right down the middle. Another slow count by a Dollar General I mean, ref that we find I can't believe off the, the spear street. wasn't enough to put away Ed House. Debating what he wants to do next as he picks him up on his shoulders. Look at the power. Carry, the power. He picked Look up. at Ed House. The Tunku picked up Ed House with ease like he was a feather. I mean, that's just, oh, that's just something you don't Irish see every whip, day. Ducks the line, goes around, and oh, spikes him right Beautiful into the mat. Hook in the leg. And it's over. Ed House wins it. His first victory here at Work Rate Entertainment oh. has finally oh. come. Oh. There's a first time for everything, Adam. Even you're right once in a while. I, I, th I think I'm right a lot more often than you give me credit for, but I mean, you say that like you're well, not I mean, happy you got, that you Ed got House denied, picked you up got, the win. You got denied that loan for that credit. Huh. But again, Ed House, basically a little bit of pain there. I mean, I mean, he's gonna try to enjoy this victory, but it was not an easy victory. Oh no, it was I mean, not. I mean, Tunku Amir took Basically everything he, but the uh, but the kitchen sink he to used, Ed House. He used that debut. style to his advantage that the likes of people here at Workrate have never seen before to his advantage. But Ed House was able to overcome that and finally pick up his first victory here at Workrate. It, it, it did a toll though, like you said. Look at it, holding the ribs. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Nice hard-fought matchup there between Ed House and Tunko Amir as we get ready 
for our next matchup. 